Today on GoPro Tips and Tricks, we're going to be replacing the audio track of a template. So GoPro Studio's templates come pre-installed with audio tracks that are designed to be used with their edits. Now, these audio tracks are locked in and they cannot be changed. There's a very good reason for doing this and that's that the cuts and the timing of the cuts in the templates are designed to line up very, very nicely with the audio files that GoPro has chosen for that template. So it's a kind of all-encompassing um, ecosystem that if you use, you end up with great edits. Now, the problem is that if you want to monetize your videos on YouTube, most of these audio tracks can't be monetized because they're licensed music. Now, you can still upload your videos to YouTube. You might just get a content match um, third-party or content warning, which means that you can't monetize your videos. Your videos are still on YouTube, and then the company who owns the rights to that music will make the ad revenue off of the ads that are playing on your YouTube videos. So before we start, we need our audio track imported. So I've got an audio track right here. This is an MP3 from the YouTube free music library. If you guys want to find that, there's a link in the video description. All that music is freely available and can be used with any YouTube edit. Then when you come down here, you click on this audio track right here. This is the one we want to get rid of and you hit delete. Nothing will happen. So what we actually have to do is mute this track. So we come over here onto the right hand side. We move our slider right down to the bottom, minus 42 dB. And now this audio track won't play. So we play our edit right now we won't hear any music in the background. Then what we're going to do is bring our new audio track down, place it on the second audio timeline, just like that, and then we can play our video. As you can see, even when our video edit ends, after our outro here, the audio track continues to play. Now, when you play the video back and when you render it out, GoPro Studios will render this with a black screen because there's that audio media and it wants to make sure that all of the media you've included in your project is included in the export. So we have to get rid of the excess audio. So to do this, we're going to click on our audio track right here. So it's selected. Then we're going to scroll down to the end of our video. We'll place our cursor at the end. So just like that, we have our last video clip selected. We'll hit this knife tool. That'll split this audio track into two pieces. And then we'll select the end one, the one we want to get rid of. With it highlighted, we'll hit delete, and it will go away. Now when we play our edit back, it will stop at the end. Now, if you find the end of the video a little harsh, perhaps that audio cutoff is not in the best spot. Maybe it sounds like it ends on a weird note or something. What you can do is come up here under the audio properties and slide this fade out fader a little bit to the right. Now it's gonna count off in seconds when that fade out starts. So something around 2.5 seconds would be a nice length of fade out. This is something that GoPro does with all of their audio tracks inside their templates. It just ends the video a little bit nicer than having the audio track just cut off at the end. Thank you guys for watching. This was another GoPro tips and tricks video. If you guys have enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe. Check out my channel for lots more videos and like the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I do read all of those comments that are there and respond to as many of them as I can. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.